Where's to harm in Freon and welcome to another video. I made a community post about this and also I talked about this very same thing later at the live stream of Salty Texas Sea. I shall post a link in the description down below so you can check out uh, the live stream for yourselves if you've missed it. But I thought that making a special video about this uh, very matter would be only appropriate. And that is why I really need to uh, make you know, my friends, who is uh, the chair of the Tolkien Society, who that man is, what he knows, and what he doesn't know. If you remember, I've already made a video and a community post about the fact that he was talking about J.D. Payne, or uh, the other showrunner of uh, The Rings of Power, being a Mormon. And that's why, in his opinion, Sean Gunner's opinion, uh, should <coughs> be very perfect for the Rings of Power, because you will understand the religious side of the Lord of the Rings. Well, Tolkien was a devout Catholic, as all of us know. And as all of us know, Catholics and Mormons are really not the same thing. And very often they don't really see eye to eye, do they? Well, here's another s snippet from uh, the uh, well scale of education of this man. Uh, and he tweeted lately, which was actually a response to another tweet that said it tells you that you have no idea what you're talking about Lord of the Rings was created to be a mythology for the British I would elaborate upon that I would correct it a little bit for England specifically because Britain as a, as a whole has King Arthur who is really um, should be connected with the soil of Britain but not England and more specifically than uh, with, with Wales, uh, King Arthur was uh, connected. Uh, but Tolkien was aware of the fact that England lacked its own native stories, myths and legends, and uh, only um, superficially naturalized ones were present, like Beowulf, which originally, of course, came from Scandinavia. And then, of course, there's the King Arthur, but that's not specifically English, nor is Robin Hood. But you get the gist of it. And uh, the tweet continues. That was the intention. British are white people. Which is some, uh, of course, correct. And Mr. Sean Gunner said, When some people insist their critiques of Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, aren't based in racism, British are white people. Which, of course, if you know anything about history and history of Europe specifically, you know that this statement by Mr. Sean Gunner is absolutely preposterous and nonsensical. I responded, well, historically you are, first the Celts and then the tribes of Anglo Saxons, Jutes, etc., which were Germanic tribes, was the problem. Which, of course, refers to the fact that Britain, before the 5th century was inhabited by the Celtic population uh, since uh, the beginning of the millennium, of course, under the rule of the Romans. But then, uh, at the end of <coughs> the 5th century, uh, the Anglo-Saxons came. Uh, the joint tribes of Anglos, Saxons, Jutes, so on and so forth. And they drove the original Celtic inhabitation to the outskirts of the Isles, to, to, to the areas of today Scotland and Ireland. Wales and Cornwall, and that's where we can find the remnants of the Celtic population, where even many Celtic languages are still sp still spoken. But since then, really, uh, the island was uh, ruled by Anglo-Saxons until, of course, uh, the Viking raids. Well, that, of course, meant even more merging with even more Germanic peoples. Because what do you think happened? Well, of course, that the Anglo-Saxons and the Celts merged, if you know what I mean, with the, the Viking invaders. And then the 10, 1066 came, and the Norman invasion. Well, who are the Normans? Well, they were the French, and more specifically, they were the, uh, the Celtic French, really. The uh, descendants of uh, the Celtic French people. And so... Mr. Sean Gunner asked, and since then, to, to which I replied, and I was trying to be um, 
a little bit pesky at the time. I, I um, wanted to be very, very hard and harsh. And I said, you mean the people your maritime empire brought to Britain against their own will while taking their lands, hardly native people of Britain. I don't want to spark a discussion about the British Empire and their colonies all around the world. And of course, taking people against their own will to the British Isles while colonizing their lands. That's, that's, that's not uh, the matter here, really. That's, that, that's not the prime matter of this channel. I just wanted to point this guy to the right direction and that, that, that direction of course is towards the fact that Tolkien indeed based his Arda stories on medieval and pre-medieval Europe where of course was white of many shades but still white and then he asked and since then <laughs> I mean this is the only thing that guy can can say and since then to which um, I answered this. And tell me how far into history Tolkien went when creating Arda, Middle Ages and earlier. And tell me, what do you think early 20th century villages around Cornwall looked like? Do learn your own history, please. So, I was of course, with the 20th century, I was referring to the Hobbits who, of course, were based on uh, the villages from the areas around Cornwall at the beginning of the 20th century. And what do you think all those villages, the uh, old-fashioned, traditional English villages, looked like? Well, they looked like Tolkien! So, uh, I don't know. I don't think that... Or let me rephrase it. I think that the chair of the Tolkien Society, and if I'm not wrong, he's also... Um, some sort of a politician in Britain, you can let me know in the comments down below if you know something about that, should know more about Tolkien and more about British history. If he decides to continue doing his job and to be active on social media. It's just my recommendation. All right, let me know in the comments down below what you think, and that will be all. Thank you very much for watching. And I'm out of here.